Hello and welcome to BMED in Revit tutorials. In today's tutorial I would like to share some of my experience with execution with construction projects. On my channel you can find a series of tutorials on modeling roof elements as well as how to calculate the amount of materials needed to build the roof. You can also uh, find tutorials on modeling roof elements in the description and comments of this video. I will just share with you what the final drawings of the roof construction look like with details, as well as how you can make a presentation like you this, like this, uh, like this you watching now. And here you can see the roof structure with all defined elements. For tagging, I use uh, type or mark tags for all roof elements. As you can see here, we have rafters. We have ventilation shafts. And uh, roof windows. Here I will show you how you can move the rafter. You need to unlock it and then you can move it left or right and you can do also uh, other adjustments such as the uh, slope of the rafter okay the rafter is locked uh, rafters are locked here because i used a beam system tool here i have a imported cad file that I get from uh, our civil engineer. This is uh, his uh, final drawing. And just to show you uh, the walls below, uh, walls and uh, columns, I used his uh, CAD drawing. It was easier for me. I import it uh, with link cat or you can also import it you can import it with uh, import cat tool but link cat is better I think uh, because you can make changes and reload the cat file also I use I used here um, fill region to select the columns that are below wooden uh, framing elements that are below uh, the beams, uh, wooden beams and below rafters. Also, I use type and mark tags for other elements. It's very easy when you add the type uh, description uh, with annotation uh, type tags you can make very easily your presentation okay here we have also sections of the roof i ha i hide uh, unnecessary elements such as roof decking and roof metal sheet i leave only roof rafters and with tags I uh, select all all elements all right here from this part here we have a detail I will also after this tutorial I will also make a tutorial on how to create detailed presentation of the project this is very good model uh, project so I I have already also finished almost uh, all elements as you can see here this is detailed drawing I will show you I've also almost uh, I, ha I have all elements modeled I need only to tag them and add descriptions but if you add descriptions in the material 
you will have uh, them uh, when you add tags for uh, for detailed drawings also this kind of projects become became your uh, template and in every similar project with this you will have those tags ready for 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 a new uh, projects all right you can see here that uh, the tags for all elements and now I will show you the other sections and uh, actually I, I need to show you here how to put these drawings on the on the sheet uh, I duplicate the sections for all four sections you, you can see here uh, of the roof and change height at scale part to one you can also use a callout tool in this case I uh, I used section I will show you this is the section of of uh, project and I duplicate it and as I said before I change the height and scale uh, to one so the section uh, head won't be visible in the in the other drawings after duplicated, I hate unnecessary elements and leave only uh, the parts that I want to be visible in the sheets. Now here we have the other section. I did the same with other section, and when I put them to the sheet, I use a rotate tool. This is 3D axonometric presentation. I duplicate 3D view and hide uh, all elements beside the roof structure that I want to be visible. You can see here, this is the 3D model of complete project. You can hide them using a visibility graphics tool by the select in the elements you want you don't want to be visible or using height selecting element and using height by category or, or height by element the tags are uh, type or mark uh, tags that I add uh, during the creation of this of this project this is the names of the section and now I will delete these drawings just to show you how to put them on the sheet and how to uh, rotate the elements uh, the section of, uh, from the left and right side of this drawing here I will add only a small line detail line so I know the right place of this drawing. <coughs> I will do the same with uh, roof, floor plan of the roof. And now I can delete them. Okay, the sheet is ready. Now I will find the floor plan of the roof and I will drag it to the sheet okay the good thing in in this version of of the Revit is that I can select uh, the grid line and move it Okay, now I will find the 3D axonometric presentation of the roof. 
as you can see here we have a lot of drawings uh, for this project as I said before this is executional instruction level of the project so here we have all descriptions and details about project okay now we add the uh, we added the uh, roof axonometric presentation okay and now we will add the sections with sections just just to repeat don't forget to change the height at part of the section if you forget that uh, you will see your section heads overlapping with the other sections in 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 all other drawings in uh, elevations sections floor plans and whenever this section is visible okay now using rotate rotation on sheet we can rotate our drawing it's very simple okay now I will align this drawing we can align grids okay it's great now I will move it to the right okay this section is ready now I will add the other section We will do the same with this one. Contra logverse. Okay. You have only two options <laughs> with this tool. For rotating the drawings on the sheet all right this is ready and one section left all right you can rotate it from here too and in this way we will align it with the with the floor plan okay that's it our sheet presentation of the roof is ready as i said before this is a very good modeled project with almost all elements and when you create a good model you can do uh, very good presentations in a different ways this is one of the ways now I will show you how the model looks from 3D view. Also, if you want to use the information of the project, you need uh, to model all elements. If you want to make a calculation of the materials or the material quantities, you need to model all elements okay now you can see the roof structure with other elements here 
we have some problem it's good uh, this is the reason I can show you how to choose this problem you can isolate this element and destroy them disjoin the this part of the rafters okay uh, this is all dear friends I hope this will be helpful for you this was a tutorial for ones that have already experienced with Revit just to show them uh, how the model of the project that is on the uh, construction level can be modeled it may be inspiration for uh, ones that want to create same or similar projects that's all i hope it was it was uh, helpful for you see you in the next tutorial